Hi guys, it's Gigi and today I wanted to do my June favorites video. I don't have too many products with me. I haven't done too much shopping and only a few things stood out as my favorites in the month, but I wanted to kind of stay on the train of doing monthly favorites videos because I have been very good this year. I don't think I've missed a month. But before I get into any of the products, I wanted to thank you guys because the Logo TV Award for Trailblazing Social Creator was um, a category that I was nominated in and I ended up winning the award, which is still like so crazy to me. Gigi Gorgeous. We also want to honor our Trailblazing Youth Group, the Parkway. The fact that it was you guys that voted and made that happen for me is so much more of the reason why I'm happy. I mean, it's not just, it's, it's an award, it's amazing, but at the end of the day, it's like because of you guys. And I know like two or three videos ago, I was talking about how some of my idols were nominated in the same category as me. And to think that I was the one that won is just so amazing. And I'm really glad that you guys appreciate the stuff that I do and share online because it sometimes is not very easy. And I feel like I have gone through a lot this year. So this is kind of just like the cherry on top for me. I'm super excited and I'm really, really just happy. I was like giddy this morning when I got the call. I was like, oh my God, no. All right, so moving on to the beauty products. I feel like these were lifesavers for me this month. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I got a lot of sun over the last week. When did I lay out? Anyways, I laid out in my backyard and it was a lot. Like I was out there loving life, listening to five seconds of summer on repeat and I lost my mind. I was out there for like three hours with only SPF 15 on. The sun set on that day and I was a lobster. But I went in and I picked up the Clinique after Sun. And I remember that this was something that my mom would use and she would always swear by this. This literally saved my life. It got rid of my burn and maybe like the redness of my burn in maybe like one to two days. It's very, very powerful. And if you have a sunburn, definitely get the after sun. I have like some peelage going on and like makeup is the worst thing you can wear over peeling skin because it just emphasizes like the different layers of it. So girl, I'm just like a little bit of a mess right now, but thank God I'm not burnt because you know, it hurts to sleep and it hurts to like laugh and hurts to like make different facial expressions. So now I can like smile and like not be hurting. So next is the SPF 30 um, sunscreen by Clinique. And I just thought that while I was there, I would pick up a sunscreen because I didn't have one that to keep in my purse or anything because now I am going to be like applying sunscreen like no other because when you get burnt, it's just like the worst thing ever. I mean, it was like painful for a while. So, and this scent isn't overly sunscreeny. Like it's not like you're gonna pass someone and they're gonna be like, who's wearing sunscreen? Okay, so these fake lashes have been like everything to me. I get questions about what lashes I'm wearing all the time. And to be honest, I do switch it up a lot. I have red cherry pairs that I love. I have Ardell pairs that I love. But this brand is a new eyelash brand to me. And if you guys don't know about it, I definitely recommend checking it out. These are socialized fake eyelashes. And it's actually one of my friend's brands. Her name is Carissa and she's here on YouTube. If you guys know her, definitely let her know that I sent you over there. But I am absolutely obsessed with her lashes. I bumped into her in New York City last month and um, she said that she had a present for me and I was like oh my god what kind of present the woman at the front desk was like oh is it your birthday like um, there's a gift here for you I was like no I just have really nice friends and she gave me a couple of her lashes to try and I'm absolutely obsessed these that I'm wearing right now I don't know if you can see them they are the minx yeah so I've been obsessed with those lashes definitely pick that up. And next, my favorite mascara, like pretty much ever. I know you guys know that I love the Benefits They Are Real mascara, but this is like so next level. So I was sent this and I was kind of skeptical, I'll be honest. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and there's no like ink on this. It's just like an imprint, so you can't even really see it. But I really do like the packaging. I think that's really cute. That's where we're gonna start today. Not the formula, the packaging. Um, and I was actually very skeptical when I tried this mascara or when I saw this mascara rather for the first time because do you see how large that wand is it's really really big and like usually I find that the the bigger the brush the harder it is to really get in there underneath and get all especially because I'm blonde to it I like to coat my lashes from bottom to top and I'm talking from bottom like touching my eyeball to top touching my eyebrow I was skeptical at first because this was so big but it really does make your lashes so good and I don't know if it's better than sex because I mean I don't know what kind of sex people at Too Faced are having but it's close. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Definitely if I had to pick sex or a mascara, it would be this one and Benefits Their Real would be second, but I think it would go sex, this, Benefits Their Real. Well, it depends with the person. 
Anyways, next. I have two more products left, and they're both makeup products, and they're both blasts from the past. So I was at the MAC counter, and I was like, what do I need? Like, I feel like my makeup looked prettier like a year ago. You know what I mean? You know when you go through phases, and you're just like, okay, I am doing everything wrong. Like, I need to go back and, like, watch my own YouTube videos, see what I was doing. So this is MAC's Fascinating Eye Cool, and this is a new one. That's why it's so long. I feels odd to have an eyeliner this long. But yeah, I've been loving the white on my eyeliner recently. I just think that it's so pretty and light and summery. I find that sometimes if I wear black eyeliner, it closes my eye off and because I am blonde and so fair and have light eyes, it look it's just too much. And even now I have fake eyelashes on, I am doing kind of a glam look. It's really nice to lighten up my eyes with this white eyeliner and I definitely recommend that you try it. And the last product that I have here is my favorite lipstick ever. Love Lorne Lipstick by MAC. I have talked about this before. Pretty sure I've talked about this in a monthly favorites this year, maybe like two, three months ago. I just feel like seriously, this is the best lipstick ever. I'm wearing it right now. I just think that it works with my coloring and it is in the luster formula. And I find that those make my lips look like they almost have gloss on them, which I really, really, really like because it just makes your lips look healthy and fresh. And I would like to think that this looks like I don't have any lipstick on, but I know that it's obviously too bright of a pink, but my lips are very naturally pink, but I think that this is just like an enhanced version of it and I really love this lipstick. If I could buy this in like a huge crate of like 100, I would because I just feel like I'm never gonna not like it. I love this lipstick. I wanna have it on my lips when I wake up in the morning. I wanna have it when I go to bed at night. I just want it to be the color of my lips, the color and texture of my lips. So that was all for my June favorites video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and liked the products that I talked about. Have you guys been loving anything crazy that I should check out? for the month of July because I definitely will do so and I'm doing a ton of traveling and usually that's when I get the most shopping done so definitely give me your picks and thank you guys again for voting for me for the Trailblazing Social Creator Award. It seriously does mean the world to me. To get recognized for something that you're doing or standing up for in my case is really really empowering and it makes you feel really good and I feel like I won the lottery or something. I don't know. I just feel really great about it. So thank you guys again and until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.